Good morning everybody, welcome back to the Ride Line. I'm Chad. Today we're working on Chewy. Let's show you what we got in store. showed up Good morning. all right folks what we've got today are unit bearings we're gonna replace on the front of Chewy to see what happens when you have a Jeep that's got a hundred thousand miles on it and you add 35 inch tire well soon enough those unit bearings are gonna wear out felt a little bit of play in this one the other one felt pretty good and tight but I'm gonna replace them both once we get that done then we're moving on to the back and I we got some gloves you asked for, Chad. Oh, you brought me the gloves? Did you bring the KY? All right, I'm back, and I'm gonna have to apologize. I did not get as much recording done changing the wheel front hub bearings on Chewy as I would have liked. But the new bearings are on, got everything put back together again, and I only had one snafu. So this guy right here is the caliper adapter uh, for the front driver's side, and uh, the caliper bolts on right there. Your brake pads go in the middle right there. And those two bolt holes right there are threaded to accept the caliper mounting bolts. And that one, that's not gonna focus, but anyways, that one and that one are completely stripped out. The bolts are also completely buggered up, so those had to be replaced. Man, why is that not focusing? Right there, there we go. That one's all messed up. That one's all messed up. Well, I went to Napa for parts, and the only way you can get one of those brackets is actually to buy it with a caliper and a bracket kit pre-assembled. So, so I did that. They asked for a core, of course, and the core for the caliper is just as much as buying the whole kit. Anyways, it's all done. Front's all buttoned up, back together again. We went for a little test drive to go grab lunch. And now, I'm sure a lot of you recognize this Jeep. And that, that guy right down there. So what we're working on here is we're working on replacing uh, rear axle shafts with some chromoly rear axle shafts from 10 Factory. Uh, the same ones I got for Chewy, Mike got for his, and we are going to get started on this. And I have had these before. My DJ. In there. Badass. Good. Grease my shaft. Grease your shaft. I'm so excited to take my old shaft out and put my new shaft in. It's gonna be really, really exciting. Folks, I'm just gonna warn you right now that uh, conversation's probably gonna turn south really early on. Get excited. Oh, well, hello. See, hey, pay attention to what you're doing. Well, you know, I get excited. <clears throat> Is it the right size, or are you just playing with that wrench? Dude, I'm a professional. The beer shows I know what I'm doing. You know what else we call that? <laughs> What's that? A womb broom. Oh. <laughs> Mike is single right now, aren't you, Mike? <laughs> I'm, I'm happily single. Very single. He's looking for a lady. If you dig the beard, Mike is available. You gotta have to bleep out every, everything you say. <laughs> so we are at a point now where we're gonna pull Mike's shaft out. And obviously the bearing and the racer are stuck in the end of the axle tube, so I'm gonna show you a trick to get it out. All right, so we take the brake rotor, flip it on backwards, put it on the end of the axle shaft, and sort of use it like a slide hammer. Hey, 
There we go. Sure. Careful with my shaft, he says. You're being, you're, being, you're, being a, you're being a douche. Douche? What are we talking about? Pull my shaft out. Can't you get it out? No, because you know why? Why? I need a hammer. No, you don't need a hammer. I need something. I need a hammer. Do you know the reason why that's stuck in there? No, tell us. Tell why is this? I, you know what? Tell us. I know why, but I want to know why it's in there. Oh, yeah, I know. The why. reason why it's stuck in there is because the bearing race is stuck inside the end of the axle tube. That's exactly what I was about to say. So, what we do is if you don't have a slide hammer, take the rotor, flip put it on backwards, put a few nuts on it, and then use it like a slide hammer. That's right. Exactly what I was going to say. See if we're paying attention. There we go. Put a few nuts on it. <laughs> we got my nuts more down this tree. Your nuts? Do you want to find your nuts? Yeah. Be gentle. <laughs> oh, man. Mike, I got your nuts in my hands. Come on, don't tickle my nuts. Here. You oh, oh no! Oh no! Where my nut? You folks don't cross thread it like, you know, like the other people do sometimes, you know? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you want some help? I don't want to get my nuts. There we go. Push it in, push it out. Push it in, push it out. It's, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, here it comes. Here comes my shaft! Oh, I think this channel just went X-rated. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? Bend over. Oh, are you filming again? Well, you see, these, the only reason why I wear these, that. What's that virus saying that we're all worried about? Yeah, that thing. Yeah. We'll have it nice and now you well you know we're gonna lube the new one up in. Oh there we go. Oh Chad, what do you think about my shaft? You know why this is longer? Because, because this is the passenger side shaft. Because it's a Rubicon and it's the passenger side shaft. Okay so, here Mike, we're gonna actually we're gonna we're gonna lube up that bearing. Dude, I use the same shit, Babbling, the um synthetic from my from um, my gear, yeah, that's why I like to put my rear end too. <laughs> you okay over there, Mike? That's just funny. Oh, he's too funny. Look out. Yeah, nice and gentle. I am, just nice and gentle. Oh, yeah. A little lube around that bearing. There. Yeah, oh yeah, that feels good. Do you like that? Oh boy. All right. Oh. When you're ready. Okay. Bend over. Just, just put it in. <laughs> this channel will <laughs> never be monetized. <laughs> okay. Come on now. I know. Be, be serious about this. I am. I don't be as gentle as I can. I seriously am. So I gotta pick it up. You gotta get it in the locker. <laughs> you might have to turn it a little bit to get oh. the fine. Now you tell me. Now with one hand lined up the flange and the other hand push that in. Ooh. Once in further, huh? Okay. I got this. It's really tight. That's perfect. In. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's there. Woo. You're torquing the torque and you want to really like so. All three are torqued. I mean five. There should be five of them. All five are torqued. So are we gonna uh, do your shafts now? <laughs> So uh, let's get to work. Let's get, let's get, let's get yeah. Action. Yeah, Action. Yeah, as you can see, folks, uh, Chad's lubing his own shaft area this time. You know, that's the same st same stuff I use in my rear end, too. Works great. Is that right? <laughs> Very careful. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get real close here. It's looking real good. Slide it in. There you go. Should just. Well, I'm just. Uh, should. Well, wait. Wait, there you go. Not. 
It's just real easy. There you go. There you have it. That's it. Is that anticlimactic? Uh, I don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> hey, it's like that scene from um, Three Amigos when Pancho says to Hefe that he has a plethora of gifts on his birthday. Oh my gosh, and yes. Hefe says, but do you know what a plethora is? <laughs> yeah, you gotta see it. Look that up, no. it's an awesome movie. And he says, Pancho, would you say that I have a plethora of birthday gifts? Oh yes, Hefe, you have a plethora. Make sure you get your nuts nice and tight. You don't want no loose nuts running around. <laughs> like the one between your steering wheel and the seat? <laughs> All right, so we're about 50 subscribers away from 1,000. And if we keep up this kind of content, we'll never be monetized. <laughs> so if you're browsing and you have not clicked the subscribe button, Go down there, hit the subscribe button, make sure your notifications on so you'll get notifications of all my new content. From me. Mike the Republican, that's right, baby. And if you're finding us for the first time. <laughs> Never mind. You know what I mean. And we're out. And if you've watched me for a while, you know that um, he tries to follow my build with his build. So we're like twinsies, I guess. That must just be a weird thing. Wait a minute.